If we're going to get caught. Oh, here we go. Alan. No, one, two, one. It will get nervy. Go on. No, we've got to go. <laughs> Dominic, I told you. <laughs> Rich, are you there, mate? Good evening, Tobias. How are you? I am very, very well, thank you. I'm very, very well. Uh, now, I love the fact that people have been listening to the start of that song going, what on earth is playing? And then just the bit that goes into the Sky Sports ads. They'd have been like, all right, I get it now. Yeah. Uh, now, it is an absolute pleasure to be here as part of Jingle Jam 2021. So we are raising money for our wonderful charity, Globals Make Some Noise, which helps out some very, very important smaller charities all around the UK. So thank you very much for being here and joining me and Rich. Now, if you don't know already, here is the plan. Rich is a diehard Everton fan. I am a diehard Liverpool fan. And we are going to take each other on in a game of the greatest game ever created, Football Manager. And I'll explain a bit more about how that's going to work a little bit later on. Uh, but first of all, Rich, let's let's start with you, mate. So talk to me about your love of football manager of the game. When did it start? Are you any good? Uh, you know what? I used to be so good at the old football managers. You know, the 2007 and the 2008s when these players who were coming through, who you kind of got an idea of, you know, when it was easy, you know, when it was simple yeah, and yeah, you yeah. didn't have to pick a third choice physiotherapist for your under 18s and that sort of thing. <laughs> you know, it was so much easier back then. Uh, I remember taking Millwall to like the Champions League final and I had Jeannie Wijnaldum running the midfield. It was it was such a show. But uh, but yeah, now I'm on the current one. I'm finding it a lot harder and I'm still kind of mid-table and I think I'm on the brink of losing my job, uh, which is which is just an example of, of how hard the new one is. But well, uh, I mean, it has got, I, I, I mean, if you don't play football manager and I bang on about it a lot on my Radio X show, but uh, it is the greatest game in the world. But... There's a lot to take in nowadays. It used to be a couple of dots running around on a pitch, used to win every week. And now, like you say, you've got to make sure that your under-18s have got enough assistant managers to keep everybody happy. It's got very, very complicated. Um, and it's and it's a ridiculous game at times, but that's part of the beauty of it. Now, here is how you can donate for this uh, wonderful cause. I said on the Radio X show earlier on today, I said, if I'd known that I could raise money playing football manager my whole <laughs> life... Oh, I'd have solved world hunger. There'd be no diseases. <laughs> if I'd been paid to play football manager all these years, I, yeah. oh, the world would be in great nick. But uh, unfortunately, this is the first. I'm sure I remember you riding with zero clothes on on a bicycle around Leicester Square. Was that for make some noise off a charity or something? You could have been right. doing I it. I ran 22 miles around London and then cycled naked around Leicester Square. And if somebody had told me at the time I could have just played a couple of games of football manager, I'd be very, very happy with me. Uh, so let me explain how you can donate. So there's a couple of ways. So you should all be watching on the Tiltify link. If you are watching on YouTube, uh, there's a Tiltify link going around. It's all over Radio X's, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You'll be able to find it. So the website is Tiltify.com. So on there, there's a few ways that you can donate money. And thank you very much. We've already raised £111, which is amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you. So on your screen, you will see a button that says rewards. Now, this is a great option. It's £35, but for £35, you will win, you will receive £650 worth of games that have been donated. So for £35, I know that's a lot of money. I appreciate coming up to Christmas and a very tough couple of years. I know £35 is a lot of money, but you will receive £650 worth of games in return. So that is one way. That is if you click on rewards on the Tiltify page. If you click on polls, you can make a prediction about what the result of this game is going to be. And you can donate as much as you like. So if you've only got a couple of quid, that's absolutely fine. We'll take every penny we can get. Uh, I can tell you, Rich, at the moment, that uh, £35 has been lumped on a Liverpool win. Okay. £2 has been lumped on a draw. Wow. And £1 has been lumped on match abandoned. But nobody, <laughs> okay. nobody yet has put money on Everton. One person thinks it's more likely that the match is abandoned than Everton win this game. Yeah, I, I mean, we we were, but before setting this up, we had a couple of uh, behind closed doors friendlies, didn't we? And uh, I'm not going to give the aggregate score away because you know I, I want people to put money on Everton. But uh, let's just say <laughs> my XG was 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 
was uh, abysmal. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, just just you know, there's got to be some Evertonians out there. I realize there's a lot more Liverpool fans than Everton fans, but you know, a corner into the box, Calvert Lewin front of the cup, one nil, and we hold on to a tricky one nil win at Anfield. Come on, there's 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 a there's a slim, very my new chance. You know, something could happen. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it happened in real life, uh, disappointingly, last season. Now, I should mention, we did genuinely, to make sure this technology was working, we played a couple of behind-closed-doors friendly earlier today. And like Rich said, I'm not going to tell you the scores. Maybe I'll tell you afterwards. Uh, but because we were just testing all the technology, we just let our assistants set up our teams and our tactics. Mm. And since then, we've gone away and worked on a few things. So, so Rich, um, you, you reckon you've, you've found my weaknesses, do you? Uh, well, maybe. I mean, the, the big issue for you was, uh, well, for, for both of us really, is that for Football Manager, in order to uh, get this match off the ground, we had to simulate about three months, was yeah. it, I think? Three months yeah. of a Premier League season. Um, so we got the jobs at Everton and Liverpool, respectively, on the 1st of July, 2021, uh, and then went on holiday for three months. Yep. Came back just in time for the Merseyside derby. Um, so, yeah, it's all been in the hands of our assistant managers. But a lot's happened since then. Uh, Everton, you know what? My assistant manager, um, Paco, uh, Rafa Benitez is number two. I've inherited his staff. I don't know how good they are. Um, but he's got Everton to 12, which, you know, is okay. It's not amazing. Um, doing better than the actual Everton. Um, but it seems to be a different story for for your side, Toby. Who's, who's your assistant manager who's, who's been in charge, you know? Uh, I, I think Pep Linders, who was my assistant manager under Jurgen Klopp, I think I've adopted him as well. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of talk in real life that Pep Linders might genuinely take over Liverpool after Jurgen Klopp. Well, not on this showing because Liverpool are seventh. Um, <laughs> the board are not happy with me. There's a genuinely a good chance. Like like Rich said, we started the game, we went on holiday until the Merseyside derby. So for the last few months. Um, I'm down to seventh and the board genuinely are thinking of sacking me. Uh, Takimu, uh, Takumi Minamino uh, hates me. Uh, Kostas Simakas hates me. And Divock Origi, most disappointingly of all, Merseyside Derby legend hates me because they've not played a single minute of football all season under my assistant. And to make matters worse, Mane and Salah have just come back from an international break and they're both absolutely knackered. So if that changes your donation and what you think the score might be, it might be worth taking into consideration. Yeah. Uh, so there is a genuine chance that if I lose this game to you, not only will my pride in real life be battered and bruised, but uh, there's a good chance I'll actually lose my job on this football manager game as well. So there's there's a lot riding on this. Now, should we get into our teams? Because um, you, you can see in front of you right now, so you can only see my screen because we can, we can only stream one at a time. But this is the side that I've agonised over all afternoon. Uh, the back five picks itself. The only question was who was going to go alongside Fabinho and Henderson in midfield. And Thiago's not 100% fit, but also... Curtis Jones, local lad, Merseyside derby. I had to put him in. So Curtis Jones is going to start for me tonight. And then the front three picks itself. Obviously, Diogo Jota as well was a difficult choice, but I want Firmino's energy. I want him tracking mm. back. I want him winning that ball. Uh, so, Rich, we can't actually see your screen, but talk us through your thought process and any uh, su surprises in your team selection. Yeah, well, I um, I wish I had the, the luxury of being able to keep <laughs> uh, Jota on the bench. Keep thirty million pound Kanate on the bench, and even have Divock Origi, Champions League final hero, uh, on the bench. Um, I've got Salomon Rondon on the bench. Uh, he's available. Um, scored his first Everton goal yesterday. That was forgettable. Um, but the rest of the teams, it's okay actually, because luckily um, the, the manager who's been looking after Everton for the last three months hasn't pushed them at all. So there's only one injury, uh, and I think that was. To it was to some squad player who's who's not important, but um, I basically got a fully fit squad, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, so I'm playing the same formation as you, Pickford in goal, uh, right back captain Seamus Coleman. Uh, I've got Yerry Mina and Mason Holgate as centre back. Michael Keane that was injury. Uh, left back is Luca Dean. Uh, the defensive midfield there is Alan. Uh, with a midfield of uh, Takore, who's just engine, it's pure engine. I've just seen on the stats there this season that he's got uh, the most passes in the Premier League. Not the most passes completed, 
for the most passes. So he's, he's won in the ball less than anybody else in the Premier League this season. <laughs> uh, I'm delighted to call uh, And he's alongside Tom Davis. Just, just with very similar mindset, me and you. We want some local blood in the Merseyside derby. So bring Tom Davis in. Uh, he's going to start in midfield. I've got Richarlison playing out wide on the left. And I've got um, Alex Awobi on the right. Um, that my dad would be kicking me right now if he knew I was doing that instead of, <laughs> uh, instead of Townsend or Damari Gray. Uh, and then I've got Calvert-Lewin um, down the middle. Um, and it will be our best winger on this game. So that's why he's in. Um, right. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking inspiration from a, from a lot of sources tonight. Um, you must be doing the same, surely. Yeah, like, look, I'm, let's be honest, I'm the favourite on paper, um, yeah. but, but let's see how we get on. So, um, by the way, just quickly before we start, we are raising money for Make Some Noise, which is our absolutely beautiful charity. Um, if you don't know what Make Some Noise does, it basically helps out smaller charities all around the UK, hundreds of small charities, all for amazing causes, and they're charities that struggle to get a herd because there's so many good charities out there right now. Um, we're talking about things like mental health programmes, domestic violence helplines, community projects, carer support, food banks, employment programs, stuff that's always important, but especially especially after the last couple of years that we've had. So if you've got any money to spare, we'd really appreciate it. If I'm going to dress like an idiot like this, uh, then I'd really appreciate some donations. So yeah, a couple of ways to do it. If you press rewards, you'll see a star and uh, the writing rewards. You can pay £35, but in return, you get £650 worth of games. Or you can go on the polls and vote for what you think the results are going to be, or you can just donate at any point as well. Uh, but we'll really, really appreciate your um, your generosity really well. Um, so, Rich, should we should we should I press space bar? Should we get onto the next screen and go from there? Yeah, that's a good plan. So basically, with this, we have to press continue at the same time. Yes. Uh, oh, there's loads of good fixtures today, you know. I think we'll be first on match of the day. There's also Crystal Palace v Watford. I don't know if that will make it ahead of us. Um, and Burn live in Newcastle, but you know, we'll see, we'll see how this unravels. Yeah, so I've, I've yeah. set up my op- opposition instructions as well. I'm going to try and show Dominic Calvert-Lewin onto his weaker foot. I'm going to try and close down Richarlison quickly. Uh, yeah. Four changes from the last match. There's four things that I didn't like about my assistant side. Uh, but let's keep going, Rich. Let's get into it, mate. Yeah, that's it. I've set Mo Salah onto his weak foot. I mean... It's not going to do anything, but, you know, try your best, uh, Seamus Colvin. Um, right, here we go. Go to match. Now, um, now if you've so, yeah. watched football manager before, um, I'll give you a very, very quick run through, but I'll warn you, it's the most complicated game known to man. Mm. So, uh, the teams are warming up. So, there are the lineups in all their glory. There you can see it. Liverpool versus Everton, manager Tobias Tarrant and manager R. Wolfenden. I should point out, <laughs> I call myself Tobias Tarrant on football manager because I think it sounds far more realistic. I think it sounds yeah. like a genuine guy that might be managing in the Premier League rather than some moron from the radio. Uh, so now, Rich, you have the advantage of seeing my screen here so you can see my mm. team talk. Yes. Now, I'm going to speak to my boys now. I don't like the fact that before we've kicked a ball, Trent Alexander-Arnold, local scouse lad, is feeling aggressive. That's got red card written all over it. And he's got Richarlison on that side. So this could be a worry. Um, yeah. Uh, um, I've also got that. I've got John Joe Kenny, who's on the bench. He's not even starting, but he's very nervous. Very nervous. <laughs> he's on the bench, John Joe. <laughs> he doesn't have to be nervous. I'll tell you uh, what, he's not coming on at any point, is he? <laughs> Stay on the bench, John Joe. Take your time there. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, they're so detailed like that, that you can talk to specific players. You can do certain gestures. Um, I think I might be using the thrash arms gesture at halftime. Uh, <laughs> let's see what happens there. Um, okay, so I'm going to go. Now, my assistant wants me to say, uh, I want you to pick up where you lo- left off last time. But I'm going to ignore him because this is a Merseyside derby. I've got to bring the fans into it. I've got to bring the emotion into it. So I'm going to say, we are the favourites here. Go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. And I'm going to lock that in. And good reaction. Trent is no longer aggressive. He's inspired <laughs> and motivated. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what, yeah. what you want. I mean, I had players who just didn't react at all. Zero <laughs> reaction. Merseyside Derby. This is the problem with Everton in real life. They've got no real fight or bite or anything like that. Um, but I like that Tiago's become aggressive on the bench. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as well. Maybe he's probably he's aggressive because he's on the bench to be Yeah, fair. that's probably why. Um, but yeah, my, my players are out warming up in front of that little quarter of Anfield where they keep the uh, 
where they keep the um, the away funds. Yeah, um, pocket. Yeah. Oh, and you've got the pre-match press conference. Well, I've got I've got to speak to some bloke from a radio station called Talk Sport. Never heard of it. Never no. heard of it. If it's not Radio X, I've never heard of it. Um, so he says you continue to struggle, and there are suggestions that another defeat today might be your last as Liverpool manager. But he's bold, isn't he? How have Old you Joe been Mann. prepared for the match of that sort of pressure on you? Um, I'm just going to look. I'm going to just. I'm going to push back Joe from this, you know, tin pot <laughs> radio station. I'm going to say I'm more than aware of the consequences of our poor form, but now isn't the time to talk about that. We're focused on winning today. That's what I'm going to tell him. Mm, uh, he says you're about to take charge of your first match as Liverpool manager. That's because went on holiday for three months. Uh, <laughs> can you sum up your feelings on an occasion like this? And I look again. I'm just going to say this match isn't about me. It's about Liverpool and Everton. Oh, God, mm. There's plenty of questions here. That's good. Do you hope your team can produce today? Um, I'm just going to say, I hope for a performance in every match like everybody else. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm just, just looking at your fixtures there on the right. You were unbeaten in the last five. Oh, was I? <laughs> you were unbeaten in the last five. I finally came back from my holiday. Going, there it oh, is. We were just getting good, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You come back from your holiday with a lovely overcoat and a nice new scarf. Now you can hear the crowd as you walk out to the crowd. There we go. There it Here's is. the league table. Seventh place, 12th. You've tuned oh. in for a blockbuster. We can go up to 10th if we win today, Blues. Come on, motivation's there. Uh, There's the lads. Yeah. One last huddle. Uh, yeah. Now, kind of a word. I'm pause the game there. I'm also going to pause you and never walk alone before any more Liverpool or Everton or Manchester fans uh, tune out. Uh, <laughs> because I need to set the uh, game speeds quickly so that you can yeah. watch. So it's... Now, it's it's, it's just a minor, a minor thing. I should probably show you the, the literature that I've been reading in the build-up to this. Oh, yes, please do. So um, how have you been preparing for this game, Rich, before we press play on this? Uh, so uh, Carlo Ancelotti, left hand to go to Real Madrid, you know, doesn't know what he's doing. Um, Crosby Beach is a lovely place to visit on a, on a nice Tuesday afternoon. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so won at, uh, won at Anfield last year, so I thought Carlo Ancelotti, have a look through that beforehand. Um, got Arsene Wenger, pure, pure genius. Arsene Wenger, clearly one of the older titles. And, yeah, uh, I hope that book ended in 2004. <laughs> I think it did. <laughs> um, and the book which every football fan should have, uh, Loud, Proud and Positive by Gary Monk. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a good read. And uh, he managed a football team once. So, yeah. <laughs> Gary, there's, there's a lot to take in there. Uh, that <laughs> Gary Monk ever released the book and that you ever bought it. <laughs> yeah, published by Y. Loffler. A big we uh, publisher there. Uh, well, I'll see your Gary Monk and I'll raise you the greatest manager of all time. I've got the biography Jürgen Klopp there for you. Nice. Okay, big Jürgen. Um, now, if I want to get into the minds of my players, I have got uh, Crouchy, How to Be a Footballer. Right? Yeah, it's proven. Uh, if I want to know a thing about a Merseyside derby, I've got Robbie Fowler, my life yeah. in football. Talks with lad. There we go. Um, if I feel like the boys aren't getting stuck in enough, I've got Joey Barton or I've got Craig Bellamy. To have. Um, so I certainly won't let Thiago read those if he's already aggressive. <laughs> uh, and most importantly, this is really my Bible, not just for football, but for life. Uh, if ever I'm in a dark place in life, um, I just pick up the Ron Burgundy autobiography. Um, yeah. and, and there's a lot of useful stuff in there. Um, for example, <laughs> chapter two, is genuinely called How to Survive a Prison Riot. So there's oh. good stuff in there. Okay. Uh, useful for all occasions. Okay. All right, before I press play, we'll really appreciate your generosity as we raise some money for uh, a wonderful cause and Globals Make Some Noise. We've raised £168 already, which is very, very kind of you. So thank you so much. Don't forget, uh, you could vote on a poll or you could uh, click on the rewards and there's different ways of voting as well. Um, Going through it, Matthew Richards has donated, Daniel Broomfield, uh, Craig Abbo, who uh, says, up the, uh, up the Jeffing Toffees. Yes, Craig, go on. We've got Liam, we've got Ben, um, we've got Caroline Howard, Mark Nicholson. Uh, somebody just called Toby is Punching. Thank you very <laughs> much, Toby is Punching. Uh, a few anonymous people as well. Uh, Stu has donated. Adam, who's a Dorking manager on Football Manager, and I think that's the Adam that I spoke to about his uh, Football Manager game on the request hour once, uh, <laughs> has also joined as donated as well. So that's very, very generous of you all. So thank you so much and keep those donations coming in. Um, without further ado, shall we press play? 
Uh, very quickly, just one final thing. Um, I understand that uh, Joe Horgan has donated uh, £10 and he's betting on a Seamus Coleman red card. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not looking promising for old Seamus. He's only got a half heart full of health as well on this. So I think he might be coming back from injury and he's up against Salah and Mane. Come on, Seamus, up the blues. I might switch Salah over to his wing about five minutes. In. Uh, so I'm going to press play. Now, I apologise. It's a little bit glitchy, but we promise you, you'll understand what's going on. OK, um, that's not just the, the computer being slow. That is genuinely how slow Everton's players are in real life. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. right. OK, so I'm going to press play without further ado. Let's Liverpool. go. Liverpool in red, left to right. Attacking the cop in the first half. That's a bit of a bit of a bold move, isn't it? Don't they usually go for the cop in the second half? Yeah, you must have won the coin toss and sent us that way. Ah, uh, um, Seamus. That's the first victory. Well, it's already a good start. Um, Mane running at Seamus Coleman very early. Curtis could, Jones, the local lad, involved in everything good about Liverpool. Robbo's got around very easy there. Hendo wants. Oh wants my anyone. god! That's not a promising start there. Twenty-six man. minutes in. This is probably a good time to point out that in our second uh, pre-match uh, before this, uh, Everton gave away a penalty inside eighteen seconds. That's true. They did. Oh, I tell <laughs> yeah. you what. Could be 2-0 up here. We're not even a minute in, Rich. Oh, I like the God. look of this early doors. This is tough. It's all right. Like, see that XG in the top corner there? Let's uh, let's improve on that, Everton, shall we, please? Oh, Joel Matip, something nice. Interesting. Oh, he's booked four minutes in. I'll tell you what, this has got an early Merseyside red written all over it. Has. And you've got to, you, can, you know, you've got to put a foot in early doors and set the standard. And, and Joel has done that there, hasn't he? Um, so for some reason, Jordan Henderson's thrown his toys out the pram. He's not happy about something already. Yeah, it just keeps popping up. The ball goes out for an Everton goal kick, which is a relief. If we can just <laughs> see, keep that, see that pop up, then um, a nil-nil. Nil. You've seen it. the early shape of the game here. I've got 55% possession. Uh, oh, no, you've clawed it back. 50% possession. And your pass is completed. It's better than ours. That is a win. Oh, yeah. I finally got a stat on the board as well. I've given away a foul. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's good. That's promising. We're on the that's board, Everton. Good. After um, the lightning start, you've grown into the game. It's all gone very, very quiet here. And, so um, and you've had a shot on target. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's out. What? It's out. It. On a booking. <laughs> Cross it back in. Mo Salah, you can't give him that much. No! <laughs> how, did, how did Matip do that? He brought it down on his chest from over his head. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not possible, for one. And oh. it's Joel Matip. Oh. Oh, let's see the replay. Look at this control. Chest. <laughs> <laughs> he does a full 360 on his chest. Oh. Oh, you can't give Mo that sort of space. Can't we, put, give Mo that sort of space. we didn't put him on his weak foot, which was a key tactical decision of mine. And we didn't do it. Oh, I might have to change this at half time. Yeah. Oh, we've, we've dropped down in the league. Up. It's I not know. good. Matip's been involved very much so far. He's got a booking, but he's also got an assist. I do not like. <laughs> that Matip booking at all. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, no. Trent Alexander on the right hand side into Hendo. Oh, oh, time, Alex Iwobi. That's it. Oh, hoof and out. Oh, Play no. Lucas. But it's Dominic Calvert Lewin. I thought he'd be up there winning those. I thought he was. He's he's meant to be a pressing forward, but he's doing no <laughs> pressing. There he goes. Oh, too late, Dominic. Um, what a ball that is. Local lad Alexander Arnold on the right. Two oh, around yet. Yeah. He can't get away from you. There's two there. Good lads. Oh, that's not good. Offside. Linesman. Linesman. Oh, oh <laughs> Linesman. No. Oh, Bobby. Where's oh. the VAR? We oh. need it. You had Trent in a corner trapped and he, he played his way out too easily. Uh, uh, Richarlison and Luca Dean, you need to you need to answer there. Uh, this is going worse than both our practice matches. <laughs> From <laughs> point of view. Uh, I'm going to pause the game there, Rich. Was there anything you'd like to say to your players? You can obviously shout at the players on the pitch. Yeah, um, as an Everton fan, I'm very used to being let down by uh, by my players. Um, marking needs to be a little bit tighter. Uh, strikers need to get into their half, mm -hmm. and um, it's just it's just a little bit it's a little bit underwhelming. They need to channel Millwall from Football Manager 2007 and just you know get into Liverpool a little bit more, but. I might have to change my tactics, you know, at half time because the backs against the wall job hasn't gone too well so far. Although XG, yours is only 0 0.75 and you've got two goals. That's very prolific from yeah. uh, from Liverpool. So I give you that. But it's um 
can we redo this? But I go Manchester City. Is that all right? <laughs> no, I was delighted. I was delighted when they said I was playing against your lot. Uh, yeah. By the way, we've gone over two hundred pounds in donations, which is very, very kind of you. And you know, obviously, I'm delighted with the scoreline, but. You know, that money's the most important thing. It's very easy to say when you're 2-0 up. Exactly. A third of the way through the game, Liverpool 2, yeah. Everton 0. You've had nine shots. So I think you're probably on course to finish on about 27 shots at the moment. <laughs> uh, I'm on, to- on course to finish on three. Um, well, I have uh, got more fouls than you. So come on, Everton. That's <laughs> getting into them. That's tough. Um, you, you wanted them to, to be aggressive. And, uh, yeah. Like, you know. oh, my uh, assistant manager just shouted out that we should take off Seamus Coleman 37 <laughs> minutes in. <laughs> ah! uh, ben Godfrey is available. Uh, so I might well do that. Um, I wish I got a highlight for my shot. Why didn't I get a highlight for my one shot? That's, that's, that's all I had. Oh, oh here no. we go. Now, two nil, two nil is one thing, but three nil. Robbo on the corner. Fabinho, what? Free header. Free header. Oh, what? What? Nice. What a leap by Fabinho! I should swear he was ahead of the crossbar there. Yeah, he's higher than it. Um, Seamus Coleman looks like he's given everything he has. <laughs> Forty-four minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not good for old Seamus. To be fair, he played better in those forty-five minutes than he has in the last couple of games in real life. So. Oh no, lads! Not at the end of the half. Oh. oh! Oh, oh, Henderson off the crossbar. Oh. Pickford oh. just watched it go over his shoulder. The uh, Jesus. The, and I'll tell you what, it's not done yet. Oh, so Evan, he's, get he's, rid. You've looked very susceptible. And Van Dijk. Oh, God. Could be fine. Everton. Where's the marking? Oh, my goodness. Right, half time. Okay. Should we have a look at some stats? Oh, yeah. my God. I'm just getting my half half time backroom advice. <laughs> <laughs> from, uh, oh, what they got? Um, uh, my assistant in the first half has analysed that Trent Alexander Arnold has really proven his crossing ability in this match. It's like, yes, he, <laughs> he has. Thanks for that, Paco. Okay, uh, well pointed out. Before kickoff. Uh, thank you very much to Lily Richards, uh, Michael Scott, a Liverpool fan. Get in, lads, as well. Uh, Daniel Broomfield will be very generous as well, donated £35. Don't forget, if you can afford it, for £35, you can win £650 worth of games. All you need to do is click on the button that says Rewards, and there's something called the Jingle Jam 2021 Games Collection. So for 35 quid, you'll get £650 worth of games. Is another way that you can donate. Or you can jump on the polls uh, and you can vote on there as well. Uh, fair play to the one person that donated a pound on Everton winning just then. Uh, that's that's confidence, and you, and you, you love to see it. You love so it. confident, it was a quid. That was that's the confidence that is flowing through the veins. Come on, Everton, <laughs> um, we'll, we'll bring it back. But um, yeah, are you going to make any changes at halftime? I don't think you really need to. No, I won't. I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell my lads. Um, um, I'm just gonna say, look, I'm happy so far, especially against our rivals. But you've got another gear in you for this second half because I'll be honest, I smell blood here, Rich. Yeah, it's um, it's, uh, it's dangerous. Um, there's a lot of um, mentality that's changed in my in my players. Um, James Coleman, he, he's still motivated. Um, Alan is furious, fuming <laughs> with what's going on. Uh, Tom Davis still aggressive. Um, <laughs> Cheng, Cheng Tosun, who according to this is a highly influential player, at Evan. Right, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure about that. He's he's <laughs> he's been sat on the bench and is now aggressive. Um, <laughs> he's just getting angry like everybody in the away end, no doubt. Um, I think I might have to make a change. Um, not quite sure what that change will be, but I need to get us. I need to get us higher up the pitch. Uh, I'm just going to make a quick tactical change, if that's all right with you. I mean, you're, you're two 0 up, and you should be feeling confident. Are, are we going to see Seamus Coleman in the second half? Is, is the first I don't know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the, the game a little bit more in this half. I think I'm gonna raise our defensive line. Could be risky, mm. but you know you, you got it. High risk, high reward, mm. as they say. Um, they've not played too bad, and I'm gonna bring on uh, Damari Gray for Alex. You're just watching a different game. You can tell you're an Everton fan. They've not played too bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they've not been. They've not been. They've not been great. But we'll, we'll, we'll bring on old Damari. Um, and I'm ready for the second half uh, whenever you are Tobias I'm in, I'm in. I've started the second half so great for a Wobie uh, yeah. but Seamus Coleman has been given given the nod to start the second half 
Yeah, he, he carries on. Go on, Demari. Oh, never mind, Demari. You get into it, lads. There's still time. It's fine. Um, oh, look at that ball. Oh, from where, where's Shane the Goldwood. Shane Goldwood. Goldwood lost another one. <laughs> oh, it's, it's stand him up, Seamus. Stand him up, Seamus. Curtis Jones. Robbo. Head no once. Oh, yes, it's big Gary Mina. Calvert Lewin in his own half. This isn't first good. To ball. First to every ball. This isn't good. Oh, Alex, let Trent go on, Trent. Swing one in. Oh, Mo. He's dangerous on his right foot, apparently, according to my, um, <laughs> my assistant manager. Yeah. Put him on his left foot. Quit. That's oh, that's no. All you want him. Oh. Holgate. Oh, there's nobody getting on the end of it. This is poor. Oh, what's this camera angle? It's a funky one, this, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. And Ooh. out. Oof. Where's Calvert Lewin? He's, he's, <laughs> he's not there. He's not there. Come on, Everton. Trent's got the freedom of Liverpool on this right hand oh, side at the moment. Luca Dean putting it behind for a corner. This is this is tough. <laughs> this is very similar, very similar theme to the first half. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I've accidentally clicked something. Sorry. Oh, no worries. There it comes. And now Big Yerry Mina. Yeah, good, good clearance to be fair. Mane. Now that's Seamus Coleman's side. Run at him. He's gone. Go on, Go on Sadio. Who's there? What nudge that is? That's not Robertson. Really Andy Robertson, though. Oh, Here's the two fullbacks on the right wing. There we go. Richarlison's back to fed, dude. That's it. Tackle him. Tackle him. Oh, Fabinho, go on. Oh! <laughs> oh <God. laughs> Fabinho. Oh, my God. Oh, go on, Gray. Here we go. Now forwards. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> End of highlight. Oh, and it's Liverpool possession again. Oh, the what first few minutes. Roman. Coleman, no. Stand him up, Shavis. That's it. Double up on him. <laughs> oh, this is torture. Oh, oh, Salah in the air. Oh, God. Salah's got everything on him. It's, it's scary. Oh, it's arms. <laughs> I think you've had six shots in the first four minutes of this half. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you said at half-time did not work. No, our nice XG of 0.22 there. If we, yeah. play, if we play five games, we'll get a goal. We carry on like this. Oh, here we are. We're going to get caught. Oh, here we go. Alan. One, two, one. It will get nervy. Go on. No, we've got to go. (laughs) Dominic, I told you. I told you there was something we could do in this half. Ah, that is how you score a goal, Everton. Oh. I mean, I don't know what the goalkeeper's doing and where the marking was. I thought Dean was offside. No, he's not. He's onside. Oh, Oh, it's a great Defender's nowhere near him. And that's really? it. That's Curtis Jones there. I don't know what he's doing there. I'll tell you what, this now gets a little oh, bit man. tasty. This. Two shots. Oh, oh I'll tell you what. This is pro- oh. Too many things go wrong. Why are, we, why are we playing out from the back? <laughs> oh, there we go. That's it. Get, get rid. Oh, go on, Damari. Here, take him. No. No, backwards. Coleman, give it inside. Oh, oh here we go. No. Oh, oh, pass. Great, well, I think we have to take off Seamus Coleman, aren't I? He's not, he's not having the best game. <laughs> He's not oh, a bit easy in there, lads. Nothing silly. That's it. Nothing silly. Just keep them in their own half. That's fine. Oh, oh we've got to be alert to that, Everton. No, not Salah. Weak foot. Put him on his right foot. Mason Holgate. Oi. Come on. And out. That's it. No nonsense. Go on. Calvert Lewin. Up. Up. Oh, good. Good, Virgil. I think he chested that to cut. <laughs> Your players have got incredible chest control. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, here we go. Space. Bobby, finish it. Love him. Oh, that is the most Bobby Firmino esque thing to do. <laughs> right. I'm just going to make a substitution. Okay. Can you guess there. what it will be? <laughs> Pause there. Yes. Um, I might give John Joe Kenny a go rather than Godfrey. Just a little bit more attack minded. In fact, no, we'll go, we'll go Ben Godfrey. We'll go Ben Godfrey. He's, no, uh, I've got I've got a worry. I've got an issue here because uh, Joel Matip's on a yellow, but he's also mm. feeling aggressive, and that is. <laughs> but I don't want to change my centre back partnership midway through a Merseyside derby. So I'm no, that's fair that enough. Now, um, okay. But you know what? I'm going to shore things up. I'm just going to bring on Jimmy Milner. He's been here, done it before. Yeah, that's sensible. Um, I'm also going to make a change uh, in the attacking department. I'm going to bring on Andros. Probably not, you know, the, as exciting as the options you've got on your bench. But um, yeah, you know, we'll give him a go. I will stick. Um, well, you know what? We'll stick. We'll stick Richarlison up front. 
we'll give him a go. You know, he scored that Anfield last season. Maybe he can do it again now. 4-4-2. Four, four, it's proven. Nice. That is the most Everton thing I've ever heard. <laughs> If in doubt, 4-4-2. Four, four, Unbelievable. Yes. We've, got, we've got to get another goal back. And, you know, I know we scored, but it was miraculous. So a double oh, sub, Coleman off for Godfrey and Davies off for Townsend. Mm. I've just brought on Milner, seasoned veteran, you know, knows all about a Premier League derby. Here we go. Come on, lads, put yeah. this to bed. Here is Jimmy. Keep him out wide. And out. Damari. Oh, Damari. oh no. No. Off the line. Look at Gene. Stop the cross. How's he done? Oh, that? don't oh, have to lie. Thank you. No. Thank you. Stop the cross coming in now, Everton. Why is Robbo taking it? Oh, no. Salah's taking it. Go on. Oh, Can Trent get one of my set pieces, please? Oh, is he offside? He's offside. He? <laughs> if this is 2 1 going into the final 10 minutes, I'm going to be bricking it. You've had 20 shots, only five on target, though. Ah. Oh, come on, Everton. Make something happen, please. One shot in the first half. Come on. Oh. This, is, this is where I want Trent. Go on, Trent, finish it. Oh, that's oh cool. roof of the net. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, just popped up in my news feed on here that uh, Jurgen Klopp's talking to Tottenham about a new job. Big oh, really? gig for him, that won't it? <laughs> After you've replaced him, Tobias. Liverpool fans <laughs> must be missing in. The guy that replaced Jurgen Klopp got the job and went on holiday for three months. <laughs> oh, I've, got, I've got to bring on some more fresh legs here. Just Yeah, know. 20 minutes to go. I'm, I'm going to bring on. Uh, I'm going to bring on Big Diogo uh, for Sadio. I just want to stretch you a little bit. Mm. Just want a bit of fresh legs. I don't want to just defend. I want to, you know, keep things interesting at the other end of the park. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Now the question is, I'm on positive at the moment because we're playing well. But at what point do I bottle it and just go, you know, ultra defensive and cling on for dear life? That's the real <laughs> question. Here. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We're going to. We're going to try and be a little bit more aggressive in this final 20 minutes, see if that changes anything. Okay. I mean, you've had more than 10 times the amount of shots that I've had. Oh, here we go. What's this? Go going along. Oh, no, Mason Holgate. Now, nah. oh, this isn't what I instructed Everton, but we're feeling we're feeling confident. No, we're not. We're going backwards. That's it. Get rid. Oh. Yeah. Why can't we find an Everton player? <laughs> Calvert Lewin has been feeding off scraps this game. He has. He still managed to get one. Good Robbo. Oh my God. Good Robbo. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, tomorrow. Any... Oh, Gray, get there. Get there, Gray. You've not touched oh, it in this whole game. Here oh, we go. Run. That? No. Run. Get back, lads. Get Run. Back. Run. Pass. Get nice. Backwards. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> and then give it away. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's, okay. that's the routine. Yeah. Oh, no. Luca Dean. Great. Follow him. Oh, who's guys. that? One marked Good in the one. middle. Quicker. Move it quicker. Oh. oh. Who's that defending in there? Here we go. Come on. <laughs> end to end now. We've, we've, got, we've got the ball in your half. <laughs> oh, no, we haven't. No. Um, not, not what. Like oh, that. end of oh. highlight whenever we get possession. I don't like this. Come on, lads. Put this to bed. Knock it back, Calvert Lewin. That's it, Damari. Come on. This is this is promising. Get in the box. Get out Come there. Come on. Get Someone. out there. Oh. Good verge. Good verge. No. Oh. No, not and there, us. lads. Not there. Oh. Okay. Not there, lads. Oh. That's a foul, it? Yeah, go on, boys. Up the other end. Up the other end. This is actually really tense and horrible. <laughs> oh. that, this is grim. Right, you re you realise I have to bring on Divock Origi at some point. <laughs> I've never seen uh, digitally simulated Merseyside Derby screaming out for Divock Origi more than this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, it's worth remembering that, as I mentioned before kickoff, he hates me on this game. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. Come on, big uh, winners again. Oh, for God's oh, sake. The service to your front two has been appalling. Holgate gets it and just wellies it down the other oh, end. Oh, really no. Cool. Come on, Finish Jordan. It, Finish it, Mo. Pull the trigger, man. One oh, of you. Holgate. Body's on the line. And mm. out again, Mason Holgate. Yes, Calvert-Lewin. Give your defenders Get credit where it's due. They've blocked a few of those today. They have, you're on. Oh. Too many highlights of my liking. I just thought it was going to just go. I just wanted, I want no highlights for the rest of the game now. <laughs> I know it's not great for the people who kindly donated money, but I'm fine with it. Yeah. Been a lot of donations. Thank you so much for your donations. Ah, yeah. tackle him. Yes. We'll get, we'll get the final tally up at the end of the game. Oh, no. Ah, oh, the space was on the left. Oh, he's gone the wrong way there, hasn't he? Ah. I'll tell you, Mo's had a lot of space and done very little with it. Mm. Go, go. 
Oh no, no. It was. he it's wants it. to hit it. Hit Stop it. the shot. Stop the hit shot. It. One of you. Oh. oh God! Why? <laughs> just clear it. Just pass it to an Everton player. Is this? <laughs> Oh, Come on, lads. My, 27 my, shots to three, but only a goal in it. Paco wow. has just pa- pa- um, pepped up and said, we should probably mark Jordan Henderson. It's the 83rd minute. Like, <laughs> great great no. advice. Here's my pro- here's the predicament I'm in at the minute. I've got to bring on Divock Origi, but he's nervous and he hates me. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I mean... I'd say do it. <laughs> Got to. I'm going to put him on as a target man. I'm just going to tell him to hold on to the ball for the last few minutes. It's not a bad shout. Yeah. I've got no other options available no. on the bench. Now, Godfrey, oh, Gray and... Oh, more. no. This is Pick Jordan. Oh, oh, JP. What a save. Can't finish our dinner. <sighs> this is on, highly stressful. Oh, there he is. He's on. Big give up. Nervous. Hates me. Doesn't want to be <laughs> Get to 10 minutes of football. Oh, God, everything's just up my end of the pitch. <laughs> it's just so stressful. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Milner. No. no. Oh, what oh. is that, man? Only your 400th shot of the game. Of all the people it could have fallen to. <laughs> Come on, don't you dare. Is there a chance the game could get, be abandoned for the people who bet on it? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Looks more likely than an Everton win here. It really does. Come on, four minutes added on. 90, what, 90, Come oh, on! No, what's this? Here what's we go. This? Shut up. Don't you dare. Give it back to him. Win it. Yes, <sighs> Trent. Get rid. Rose Ed. All that. All no. that. Give up. He hates me. He's nervous. Oh, oh, oh save Pickford. He's kept me in it. I'll oh, get it. What are you doing? Ah, oh, we just we just don't get it. <laughs> it's so <laughs> stressful. No, give up. They're, they're lining up. up. Give up once. Oh, no oh. once. Oh, <laughs> right, a big fed. Oh, we could have we could have scored ten. You've had thirty three shots. <laughs> it's a shot every three minutes in a game of football. That's, oh. that's actually bonkers. Oh, don't, oh. don't you dare. Don't Twenty you seconds. Dare be an Everton goal here. Robbo to Milner. Just keep take it to the corner flag, lads. Oh, no, take it to it. the corner flag. Oh, come on. Nine, Get it long, Jordan. Ten seconds. One Three. kick. Final Blow kick. It. Blow it. Oh, yeah. Time what are you doing? What are you time doing? Oh, win it. Come on, Andros. Oh. Oh. Jota wants. Oh, no. Surely. No. Surely. No. Surely. no. Surely. Surely. What's oh, he he's running out of play. Oh. It must be. Uh. Blow it. Ah. The final whistle is blown. Uh, I mean, statistically ugly, but if your job was to to come to Anfield, shut up shop and try and nick something, you nearly did it. We almost, we almost, almost did it. You know what? Godfrey came off the bench and got a seven, which is better than every other player apart from Dean and Pickford. So he's my third best player, despite playing... 40 minutes of football. <laughs> the um, will say that Seamus Coleman shouldn't have started in hindsight. That's it. You know, he had, he had a half a heart full of health. But, uh, <laughs> but, but there we go. There's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw the water bottle in my post-match chat um, and say that was embarrassing. And now everyone's demotivated. Great team talk. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to tell my guys it was a nice victory. I'm just going to say it's a nice win. Good way to get one over your rivals. Everybody's very, very happy. Uh, I have to say, though, Rich, 2-1, very respectable. I did also certainly have uh, the advantage of a slightly stronger squad, I would say. Yeah, um, now, I'd agree. Uh, now, genuinely, thank you so much if you tuned in and enjoyed that. Uh, we've raised £214 so far. Um, if you can donate after the game as well, that'd be massively appreciated. And the video is going to be available to watch in full straight after the stream. So if you missed any of it, um, once again, finally, on the Tiltify link that should be on Radio X's Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and things like that, you should be able to find it. Rich and I have both uh, both posted it as well. Uh, there's a couple of ways to donate. You can just give us a good old-fashioned donation, uh, or you can donate £35, but in return you receive £650 worth of games that have been very, very kindly donated. Um, all the money goes to Globals Make Some Noise. And honestly, helping out some really important causes that I mentioned a bit earlier on, but things like food banks, uh, domestic abuse charities, 
uh, you name it, basically everything is covered. So your donation is really, really helping out. Um, by the way, we might as well say, uh, Rich Wolfenden, Indie, Indie Disco Night, Fridays and Saturdays on Radio X. That's uh, it, myself. Radio X Indie Night. That's it's the always one. myself, Monday to Friday, usually 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., but Moyles, he's uh, off again tomorrow, so I'm covering him. Um, but thank you so much if you tuned in and you enjoyed that, and thank you very much for generosity. Uh, and really, this is just a massive thank you to all the football manager players in the world because uh, it's a little community and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, Rich, the final word from the loser, mate. Uh, the final word from the loser. Um, I'm not going to focus too much on the result, the performance. You know, it was it was almost faultless. You know, apart from the, the 33 shots we conceded, um, <laughs> it, it wasn't it wasn't the best. But you know what? I got a goal. I had something to celebrate. We raised some money for charity, and you know, hopefully, we'll do it again some point in the future because it's much better than running the London Marathon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 100%. So, yes, uh, no, that was very good fun, and thank you very much for watching and uh, donating if you if you did so. Uh, great to see you, Rich. Thank you for that, mate. Same time next year. Maybe we'll pick different sides next year. Maybe we'll maybe I'll give yeah. you a squad next time. PSG for sure. I'll see you there. <laughs> Radio X.